Well, President-elect Donald Trump's threat to deport millions of immigrants is stirring fear in South Florida. An immigration attorney says many people allowed into the U.S. by President Biden could soon be at risk of being sent back to their homeland. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is in Little Havana tonight. That program is called Humanitarian Parole. Cubans, Nicaraguans, Venezuelans, and Haitians were allowed to come here and stay for two years if they had a sponsor within the U.S. But for many of them, the time is almost over. Us Nicaraguans, Venezuelans, and Cubans came here because we're running away from dictatorial regimes told me this woman who we'd call Maria. She and many immigrants from those countries entered the U.S. through the southern border. In 2023, those nationals and Haitians made up the largest number of immigrants who saturated the U.S. border with Mexico. This president allowed all those people through the border who messed up our work, told me Elvis Alvarado, an undocumented immigrant from Guatemala who has come to Home Depot to look for work over 10 years. He said he did want Donald Trump to win the presidency because he has not had much work lately. He did not seem worried about massive deportations, though he does not have any status in the U.S. Groups that are not criminals that I worry the most about are the humanitarian parole have come in. And that's a significant number. Willie Allen is an immigration attorney with over four decades of experience. He said almost 600,000 people benefited from the humanitarian parole. Cubans that came in, which is about 120,000, they're good because they have the Cuban Adjustment Act. He told me Venezuelans will be protected under a TPS, but two other nationalities will not. Who's going to be touched? The 200,000 Haitians that came in, the 90,000 Nicaraguans that have come in. Their option will be to apply for political asylum, but Allen says the timing and the new administration are against their odds. I expect that those applications for asylum and those work permits are going to be a pain for them to get. And the Trump administration also said that for those who are applying for political asylum at the border, they may very well have to do it again in Mexico, which means we leave the Stay in Mexico program. We are in Little Havana. Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.